I've got to finish. No. 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 That's. Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. Having fun, kid? Yeah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Citizen. Oops, wrong number. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley. A man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Biff? Hey, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running? Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... What head? You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus, or Bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? 
Nothing. Other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old, nasty self. Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah! You used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today.